God be the glory for how far he has taken us. And at this time, it's a solemn moment. This is the second part of Martina and Collins on their way to get married. And the second shows that Martina is from a very good home, likewise Collins is from a very good home. As such, we need to put our trust in this marriage and we be the witness of this marriage. This is the time to pray unto them. This is the time to call upon God as they embark on this very journey. The journey is very long. And it's a journey of no return. And along the journey, there are hindrances, there are weaknesses, there are sources. But if you see that I said that Collins and Martina were brought up in a very good home. So we can see that there are many here. So at this time, I know that once we are here, and all of us here, 
They are from four different families who have met here. They are from four different families. Can anyone tell me about that? No. Because Martina mother, Martina father are from different entities. Colin's father and Colin's mother, they are from different culture altogether. Now they are here to witness this. And in this, in this very time, in this age, in Ghana, we can hear of many, many divorce in marriage. Simply because we, we fail to bring into the marriage what is required of us. And I'm very happy to witness what has gone on very here. I've done a lot of engagement, but what I've witnessed here is a unique one. For the question they ask, Martina and Collins. And I believe that those of us here, we are learning from it. And I'm also learning from it. Most of the time, when we get married, we forget our family. We forgot that even there's a man who gave birth to us, or there's a woman who gave birth to us. But today, our eldest year has proved us wrong, and that we need to turn around when you're ready for marriage. And it has turned me to go into the Bible and get a quotation for that. In, in Ruth, the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16, the Bible says, But Ruth replied, Don't ask me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so sincerely, if anything but death separates you and me. Amen. Amen. Engagement is more important even than a wedding. The wedding is just for a short time, and over there, in between the couple, or will be couple, and they are God. And will be there as witness. They go and seek their vow. By here engagement, the two of them, Martina and Collins, I'm calling them Collins and Martina because they have not yet got married. But over here, they are sealing their marriage in the presence of their parents. In the presence of us all. So engagement is very, very important even than the wedding. The wedding between them and their God. But here, in between the two of them and their parents, which is very, very important. And you can witness that most of us, when we get married, after marriage, we forget our parents. We forget our long distance relative who might have contributed a bit into our well being. So we are turning around to check this so that those of us who have not yet married will not make that mistake. What I read is so that Ruth and Opa were married to Naomi's children. When Naomi's children died, Naomi told them, Now, my children, they are gone. They are no more. So please, find your way. I cannot give birth again and get two sons for you to get married. Opa listened to Naomi and said and said goodbye to Naomi. But Ruth said, no. Wherever you go, I'll go with you. I'll be among your people. Where you sleep, I'll sleep. Where you die, I'll die. And that's wonderful. But which means that Ruth
God living behind you. And this point is built on the Bible. Jesus Christ is the cornerstone. And the ring is just a meter, a precious meter. That is showing the love of calling to Martina. You're going to seal it with this ring. It's never ending matter. And that shows his love. And that shows that Collins is just to tell us that love is not cheap. Love is not poor. Love is not priceless. Most of the time, we read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 and 8, where we talk about love alone. But this ring is proving to us that. This money they are going to embark on, this thing they are going to embark on, it will never end. The vow that's going to come, you're going to seal it with this ring. And that's the significance of this ring. And at the same time, this ring can also be a shackle of bondage and dullness. It can bring problems. It depends how we embark on it. And as you all stand up in this solemn moment, I will ask that all those of us here who are leaders in the church, pastors, apostles, who come together here as we pray on the Bible at the ring. So if you know that you are a messenger of the Bible, Please, I'll ask you to come to the front here. And Pastor Lita is for you. If there is anyone here among us, if there's anyone among here, just join us. We are all witness to this very, very important occasion. It's a solid moment of time. Whatever you say unto this, unto them, and whatever you pronounce on this ring and the Bible, that's what you're going to take them along the journey they're going to embark on. And that journey they're going to embark on, they will never turn back. Because we have a lot of people here who are witnessing to this very occasion. We are going to also seal their love. They're going to declare and decree on this Bible and the ring. Shall we all stand up?
Oh God, and Father, thank you so much for this very wonderful time. We thank for what you've done. And I want to help you do in the life of Martina and Christ. But even last year, put on this ring on, on, on Martina. We declare that favor will be upon them in the name of Jesus. We declare blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. Renew your mercy upon them day and day out. And let your grace be upon them. Never again will they say this sickness in their life. Never again will they have any problem. Father, all the benefits and the gift in marriage at the embark on, Father, we will work it upon them in the name of Jesus. We ask that be upon them. We call them to your cash. Father, and beg one. We pray for the family. We have kept them. We have watched these two people at this time that they have come together and they are about to get money. Father, watch over them. Guide them. Encourage them that they may be good in the life of these two children. Father, we have watched them all this while. And as they go on this journey, it's our brother. Let their prayer for these two people never cease. Let their prayers upon these two people never cease. Father, let their prayers upon these people never cease. And Father, those of us here, we are witness to this occasion. It's our brother. Even if there's anyone here or a group of people here, who are looking for a partner in life, Father. Give it to them in the name of Jesus. Father, give it to them in the name of Jesus. Bless them with the choice in their money. Father, we thank you. We give you the money. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.